Guys, welcome back to Moron Rescues. Yesterday, I decided it would be a great idea to drive my broken Infiniti QX56 four and a half hours in New Hampshire. Now wait, I know what you're thinking, it's not that far. When you go 22 miles an hour it is, it's in limp mode. I don't know if we're gonna make it. We did make it. We're gonna need chainsaws. Four wheel drive did work to get me in here. You got a lot of work to do. Flippers, cut. I did find the uh, passenger fender over there. Does still have the snowflakes. question is, will this door close with this tree? Uh, looks like it might. That's good news. Still has a key. What's left of it? That's a great question. Not much. <laughs> what are we doing? So I don't know what year it is. I'm guessing it's a 1960. I think the 60 was the first year of the push button door handles. They got rid of the ice picks. Love my ice picks. Does not look like the hood's original. But you can see it is a four tab hood. Got to rake some of that out. Holy schmoly, look at these wipers. It's gonna take me about eight hours to make it home with that trailer. If I can even get the trailer in here. Well, I can tell you the approach in here, I cleared some of it, but I was almost wondering if I was on the wrong road. It got a little sketchy. Cleared most of this. I'm gonna have to drop this tree, um, remnants of this tree. There you go, you wonder how they drag some of these cars in here. Big old hook. Clear some of this wood. So I'm trying to move some of this debris, or derbis, as I call it. How long has this stuff been out here, you say? That's growing right into that root. I was trying to move it. That is in. <laughs> it's been some time. Transaxle. Cool Jeep. Another tranny. Where's Kevin to move the tranny for me? My buddy's coming back for that. A lot of stuff. Oh my god, you went right by that split window door. Hey, I finally saw something in a video. Look at that. Split window bus door. What else we got in here? Can you tell I'm just procrastinating? Got some four luggers. There's those, uh, Five logs. I have to try to jack that behemoth up and save those bus wheels. So they're not crushed. Lots of fun stuff out here. Old boat chairs, maybe. I gotta get back to work. Not sure what that is. Got a Mustang hiding over here. 68 maybe. So yeah, here's our approach. I'm guessing just drag it out to here. It's a little tight. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't turn the uh, camera on. I turned the mic on. I'm not going to have all the chainsaw comments. Man, what am I going to do with myself? We'll get this all out of here. I'm thinking we can pull Orca, as I call it, the SUV in. Try at least get it pulled down the hill. So I go for the 
brake drum, or do we just give it the heave ho through the mud? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to pull it in half though. All right, well, I'll get this cleaned up and we'll bring you back. Or you guys just want to stay. You can stay. You know, maybe the gnats and horse flies will attack you. Yeah, no Josh today. There's no way. He, he, he wouldn't last five minutes out here. Nope. So no Josh today. Somebody asked why I was wearing the Sorel winter boots because I'm out here working when it's very wet. Keep your feet dry. Hot! But dry. I moved some of this stuff. And it was pretty heavy all through here. But just ferns and you know small trees and stuff. Nothing, nothing major. All right, well, there's only one way to get after it. Just let's get into this thing. More furnage. At least it's dry. Try to get under this front end. A little muddy. There's a big root right there, too. All right, let me get that root out of there so we can get that rock. Two roots. We got those cut, rock like grew, or the roots grew right into the rock. I think I got it though. Oh. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Splat. Sounds like my son Josh when he tried to cross that log. But that, I'm gonna cut the rest of that root and then we'll get the jack under this thing. Get our first tire in the air. Awesome. All right, I'll go get the new jack because our other jacks are junk. Before we do anything, let's try and get this door closed. There's our running board. More archaeology, right? There's our running board strip. Oh, watch that be a root right there. Gonna clear. Oh, there it's closing. Nice. Well, that's exciting. It's not taking the inner fender well with it either. Oh yeah, baby! If that's not Larry approved right there, I don't know what is. This thing's coming together. That's awesome. Yes, that's a win. Small victories, folks. Here's the, uh, trying to channel this, keep it out of here. There's another one. When I come back, 
I'm not going to show you, but it only gets worse the farther up the hill we go. So stay tuned because it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be pretty crazy. My craziest yet. Okay, I wish I got the aluminum one. My cheap. This thing's heavy. It's coming out. That thing is in there. We'll go up so high, we'll get a ball. Oh, I'll dig that out. Oh, that thing is in there. Got that door closed. Hear that? Uh oh. It's in a mirror. Broke off. They probably hit the tree backing it in. Here it is. It's getting there. Get the other side. How's that gap over there looking on that door? We need our door to come back together. Oh, it's getting there. It's looking good. Keep an eye on that. Gotta smush her back together. Miss the mud. You would think I'd have my PhD by now in brake drum pulling. This puller and I don't get along. I got another one in the box. I came prepared. I always give me a hard time not coming prepared. Two rake drum pullers. Both are new. This drum is coming off. This car is coming out of here. I need a win. Not done with the bus if you're wondering what happened to the bus. The SO23 will be coming home as well. Been having some truck issues and this guy issues. But this is a good sign. This is coming. A couple taps. Tap tap a roo. Taking the pads with it, I'm sure. It's not coming off real straight, but. Right, right on your wrench. Thought that was a good spot for that. I was wrong. Right on your lug nuts. One of four. Let's go. We need a victory. Yeah, don't drop the car on yourself. That would be, that would be bad. Gonna need a bigger hammer. There it is. BFG. One down, three to go. Wow, that is, uh, that's some rust. Put that in the pile. She's coming. She's coming home.
Got to give a huge shout out to Coker Tire for sending me the Mudhawk 5000s, knowing I had to pull this out of some muddy terrain. Thank you, Coker. Hopefully these get plenty of grip. I'm sure they will. Yeah, these are actually off my 50, uh, for my 56 convertible. This should be fine. I like the white wall look with the white. Mm, might be onto something here. Check it out. Just roll yourself right down this hill, would you please? There's a dead horse fly in my camera. I'm not even kidding you, ready? Yep. Much of the same nastiness here. Whoa, almost took you guys out. All right. Keep going, get that cap off. Same thing. This side's reverse. Another horse fly. Die, horse fly, die. Woo! Crispy! Um. <laughs> What would Musty One say right now? Pull from the back. Round number two. There was some serious beating going off the camera, just so you know. There it is. <laughs> All over my mat, fantastic. Woo! Just six more hours to go. I should have it about there. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's nail the dismount. Breeze feels good. Well, things are looking up already, guys. We have a hubcap and snow, well, bald snow tires, but we've got my favorite snow tires. So let's try to get through the furnage. There's our trim. What's left on our running board? Here's our, uh, here's our jack point. Bottom of the running board. Mm. Might have to get a new one of those. I see something blue under there. Maybe it's a first aid kit or something. I'm gonna get my gloves on with all this nasty metal. We'll try to get that blue thing out. I don't know what that is. Can't tell me the seat. Alright, back to horse flies and archaeology. Go to our heater tube. Oh, see uh is it the battery? Here's the battery cap. No? What the hell is it? Yeah, it's a okay, it's a battery. It's blue though. I haven't seen a blue battery. All right, we're gonna try to get in there. Get our jack over. Uh, 
No thunderstorms today, I don't think, so that's good. That last one, I wish I had recorded while I was in the truck. It was, it was a doozy. That's the battery. All right, well, I'll get this dug out and then we'll get a jack on here. I'll bring you back. Horse fly will not leave me alone. I want to try to get this gap fixed. Remind me why I got the heavy one again. Alright. Alright, I know it rolls better on a board, but I need the clearance. I'll get it under there. No, huh? I got a jacket in the middle. I want that door to close. It's not looking good. All right, don't roll the car. All right. Good Lord. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Gotta take it out of gear. Forgot about that. It's moving. Yes, I tightened the bolts. Push this thing right out of its grave. That bottom hanging up. Oh, your side, your side's hanging up. <laughs> you guys fell over. All right, guys, I did find the scissor jack I brought. It's gonna sit right on that rock, too. Glad I brought this. Because I gotta tell you, I'm running, out of, I'm running out of steam, but this gives me, I just got a bunch of energy when this fit under there. And this is gonna work, I think. So that is awesome. Come on out of that hole. 66, 67 tire. What are you doing on here? Go ahead and get a get a board under there. Getting away from that tree. I turned the tires in the front and actually shifted the car. Oh, this is awesome. I need this. 
I'm glad I brought you. Yeah, nice gaps. Of course, more roots. All right, let's get the... Uh... Oh, that's big. That's big. Let's see if that'll pull this a little bit anyway. Not really, but I've got to come along. At least I can hold it. At least that'll hold it from sliding. Body mount, bumper, looks like it might still have the original engine in it, first peak there. I'm telling you they drove this thing in here, they backed it in. I don't know that, but I think so because of the hill. Get rid of that 66, 67 <sighs> on an early car. I'm sorry. Early big window, early small window. Small window car. Everybody calls things different. I call it a small window car. Some people are like, it's not early unless it's a 47. All right, what do you think? That cotter pin is gonna come off? Of course, where's my hammer? No idea. Nope. Absolutely not. So, you get the secret weapon. And you just break it off. That's what you do. Yeah, we're not even messing with the cotter pin. I just clipped it. This thing will just break it. Which it already did. Off camera. There it goes. Just fell out. Brake drum puller on. Guys, we're making some headway. I'm getting excited. This one's moving. That's good. Uh-oh. What's going on down here? Oh, no, I didn't tighten that one enough. Not good. Pulling that stud. Hold that stud. Got ahead of myself, man. Ah. Oh, shoot. Probably strip that uh can't strip that lug nut either. This is the only three I got, of course. You wouldn't want me to be prepared, would you? Idiot. I'm gonna go right here. I know. I should go lower. That thread might be compromised. I got ahead of my as usual. That one's not quite as long, that's why. I'm gonna get back over. Get over there. This one's not even tight. What are you doing? Oh, I'm tired. That ain't gonna work. That's not gonna work. I haven't broke out the new brake drum puller because I gotta tell you, I'm not getting along. I need to a longer stud. Not getting along. 
I gotta get this off. Let's go. Just look at me go. Come on. That's right. Yep. I'm gonna give it a couple love taps. It's got a nice breeze. Safety glasses for explosions. Save some energy. I'm gonna need it. Got one more to go. It's coming off straight. Can't see how it's doing. Come on. Oh. There it is, yes. Making a mess all over again. Oh. There it is. Still at the rear brake cable now. Whew. All right, guys, one more. One more. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Whew. Thank you, brake drum puller. It's getting late. I'm gonna try to get this thing out of here before dark. Can we do that? That remains to be seen. All right, who else is sick of this side? I'm sick of this side. Let's go to the other side. This side's done. Battery's flashing. Scissor jack. Yes. Man, you, you saved my butt, let me tell you. All right, let's go to the other side, guys. Can't wait to get this done. Push this car right out of here, right? One might come out. Yep, I see the horse fly flying on me. I'm just like, my head's so, got so many bites from horse flies on it, I don't even. There she goes. Doesn't even bother me anymore. Whew. Well, there you go. Finally got one.
One more, baby. See, I'm using the top because these are, I don't want to compromise my bolts. I'm going to have to clean one of those out though. You know, get a better pull, you want to spread it. Just doing the top. It's not really going to work for you. It's getting there. It's still full. All right, I'll get the puller on there. Get this last one on there. Woo! I feel it. Not coming off real straight, but it's coming off. Could be that oiler hanging up. Nah. Save the best for last, right? Oh, the brake pad's really sprung. Holy Moses, that's it, success there, horse fly, Benny Hill in my head right now, oiler, Whew. that's it, all right, I'll get a tire on this, and we'll get to, uh, Pushing this thing out of its grave. Guys, the moment has come. Time to push old one-eyed Willie right out of the grave. What time is it? It's a great question. I got here at 9.30. It's 5.42. Jen called an hour ago. Seeing if I'm alive. Remove the parking brakes. This is a first. I don't think I've pushed a car out of its grave. We got a little hill. Um, yeah, this would go fine. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna give it the heave ho and uh, hope it doesn't hit the Jeep. I can't steer it. Will it roll? Almost. Almost. Where's my spade shovel? Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna just send it. That's the plan.
that tree. How are we doing? Oh, we cleared it by a freaking millimeter. I was looking over here. I'm going to hit this uh, driver. Oh, she's out. Freed from the grave. Here it is. Very excited about that. I did not see that happening. That, that sucks. What do we have in the aftermath here? Old radio. Good bumper bracket. Our rear mats. Deluxe Wizard. Not too much, huh? Rolled it right out of the grave. Wow. Snowflakes. I didn't even show you the engine. I don't even know if I've seen the engine. 36, baby! Oh, no air cleaner. That's... That's, oh, that's not good. It's probably the air cleaner uh, that we got out of the bus. Oh, that's not good. You guys saying I taught Musty how to push cars. Well, I'll tell you what, probably right. He's got me covered on about everything this guy comes to pushing cars around. Just check this out. Going for the full, oh yeah, mud. Mud, that'll do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, get some. All right, I heard his brakes were stuck too. Dang, maybe he's got me covered there. I'm blaming it on my uh, Coker grapplers. Not getting any traction. You get traction. Yeah, I don't get any traction. Come on. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'll just use the truck. That's fine. So, so he's got me covered on pushing cars. I mean. What are you gonna do? This thing's coming out though. I'm excited because I'm cooked. I am cooked. Cooked. This truck's got electrical gremlins. Let me back up on some drier ground.
thought you guys were going to steer. Why do I do this alone? Great question. How am I going to get my trailer back here? Maybe pull up. I, I don't know what's going on with the truck though. I think I already told you I was doing 22 miles an hour in limp mode and it, was, it took me five and a half hours to get here. I don't want to pull it out any further because I can maybe turn the trailer around, but if that thing doesn't have four wheel drive. So here's where we're at guys. Try not to kill that pine tree. I just kind of like looked for metal and stuff in here. I thought about just dumping the trailer right here and I think I can spin it. I can probably use the truck with a strap to pull on it and spin it around so I'll escape out of this. Then we can turn the trailer around, the truck will be down there and then we can back up, winch this sucker on. And it was in four wheel, it's just the tires are bald and it's pretty wet, wasn't having anything of it. I ripped my bumper off just trying to get in here. Put it back on, thinking I was like Tarzan or something. All right, I'll show you the, uh, let's go get the trailer. <laughs> I hope my trailer's still back there. Guess we're going downhill here. I wonder if I'll have any brake lights left when I, uh, <laughs> probably not. See if I can move this thing. <laughs> End of the day, I'm shot. I just, oh man. No way. What was I thinking? Oh yeah. Yep. That ain't happening. Okay, plan B. End of the day, I'm shot. That's not moving. For some reason I thought I could move it. I feel like I have. Just maybe not after 12 hour day almost. Hopefully I can hook this thing. I'm gonna go around. Might just pull it straight. It'll probably just pull it. Let's try that. It's not the best angle, but let's just give it a try. What do we have to lose?
Yeah, I almost put it in the stream. That, that, that was, oh, that would have been good. Hopefully that works. Tell you what, it's gonna hit that tree and then hopefully it pivots. I didn't like my wheel chop. Yes. I got one more. Don't let it end up in the stream. There's a drop off, but looks like it'll hit that small tree. I can't see, so let me know. Like flat. Was that wood or was that my lights? That was my lights. This is a bad idea. Well, the good news is there's a tree here. I'm just gonna have to pivot it. I'll remove this light. Maybe I can save it, but. Yeah, I gotta just keep going. It's gotta pivot on that light and uh do I stop while I'm ahead and hook it back up? I force wise. You know, I almost think that's not going to work because it's too, it's going to pull it out. I almost want to pivot it on that tree. I'm going to pull it that way. I don't want to do that. I want to pull it this way. What are we doing? I'm just going to have to just pivot it on the tree and send it. Or do I got to pull it from... Uh, you guys still here? I'm going to get this out by... Dark would be nice. We got tail lights. Who needs center lights? All right, it's pivoting. We got this. Yeah. How am I gonna? Well, at least we're flat. I couldn't even get my truck up here with some. Uh,
Almost hit the Mustang. Alright. We're getting there. This tree survived. Got this. Holy Moses. All right, I'm gonna get the trailer hooked up and uh, let's get out of here. We're in a lot of daylight. You know what I'm upset about? I wanted to go swimming, cool off. Might still have to in the dark. It's kind of scary. But, no alligators, no shacks. Pretty safe. You know, maybe a big water moccasin or something, or a huge snapping turtle. Will the winch work? That would be my luck. Guys, can't make this stuff up. This is what's wrong with your Harbor Freight winches. The cables, they just, they're powder. I got no, no connection. Whew. Come along, I guess. I'm gonna have to get it closer. Let me try this winch. I'm gonna try it. I wanted to get the trailer closer, but I, I couldn't. This is dead. Unbelievable. All right. I think this is our culprit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Garbage. Good news is, besides the bugs that are all over me, I thought I had a, thought I had a, uh, I had a cable. Is that? Yeah, I got a cable back there. I should have just changed this beforehand. Wolfsburg West to the rescue. If nothing else, it rolls. I'll pull it out of that hole. I'll try to back up close to it. I'll just come along and on. But uh, yes, Harbor Freight winches. Absolute garbage cables yeah how about a little Wolfsburg West to the rescue got to give a shout out to JNC thank you guys Yep, 
Holy moly. <laughs> it's coming on. Let's not mess up our rear ramps. The tree survived. I'm so happy. Is that another rock? What's, no? Holy moly. All right, guys, we're getting there. Try to get out of here before the rain. And my cable cooks. Come on. came out. I didn't even see it. Totally running it over my new tires. I was thinking it was a rock, rocker or something. Alright, get back up there. It's on! It is on. Whether we get through the trail without getting stuck, that remains to be seen. Are you guys having any fun yet? Fun's about to start. Roll so nice. Do good work. All right, guys, we made it. The storm is here. I gotta put this. Uh, that's it, you gotta roll. Guys, we gotta roll. A tree just fell that way, like right by that birch tree. I gotta get out of here. Oh, do we have everything? Well, whatever. We need to get the heck out of here. Blinker. I'm gonna focus on I'm gonna focus on driving. Might be a good idea.
true story, that tree fell. Got a little bit of a hump here. Keep my momentum up. That was crazy. Tree fell. Look at that. Look at that view for you guys. I just had to get that thing loaded. I threw two straps on there. The wind was picking up. That tree dropped. I was in the truck and it dropped. Thank goodness it was direct line and it went the other way. I mean, I wish that was rolling, but man, I guess I'm not going swimming. So thank you guys for hanging out, dealing with all the bugs and uh, horse flies, mosquitoes. I didn't even get to do a tick check. The crazy rescues are coming, that's all I can say. Guys, make it a great week. Thank you again for all the comments and likes. I really, really do appreciate it. Hopefully this is the last time you see me and I'm not telling you about my truck problems on the way home, but uh, it's uh, 8.23 and we're heading.